thousands of people have joined fresh protests in Hungary against the so-called slave law that nearly doubles how much overtime employees can work. The protesters are marching to the office of President Kamos Ada, angry that he signed the legislation. Mr. Ada insists that workers' rights will not be violated as the overtime will not be compulsory. Prime Minister Viktor Orban says it gets rid of silly rules so that those who want to earn more can work more. The new law boosts the overtime employers can demand from 250 to 500 hours a year, while payment for this can be delayed by up to three years. Some of the protesters are also angry at another law authorizing mood calls that they say could be politically manipulated. Mr. Oppen's Fiddish party has said protests are the work of foreign mercenaries paid by Hungarian-born United States billionaire George Soros. Mr. Soros denies this and says the Hungarian authorities are using him as a scapegoat. Friday's march was led by the spoof Chutild Dog Party, a KKP party, which was launched more than a decade ago as a joke, but has since grown in importance and uses humor to deal with issues. I have come to rejoice over the government's policies. Two eight-year-old girl got a told Reuters, holding a sign saying, A sign. Another protester held a placard saying, Happy boss. Gloomy Sunday. Until now Mr. Open's policies have typically enjoyed widespread support, despite repeated condemnation from other EU nations. In elections earlier this year, Fidesz won a two-thirds majority in Parliament, making it relatively easy to enact his policies. The government says the laws address a serious labor shortage. The country's unemployment rate at far 2% in 2017, is one of the lowest in the EU. Hungary's population has been in decline for years, as deaths outpace births. According to the European Statistics Agency, Hungary is also experiencing a brain drain, as well-educated people take advantage of free movement within Europe. The problem is serious enough to have prompted a 2015 program to encourage young people to return home, offering housing and employment support. Fidesz met George Schopflin previously told the BBC the reforms had been heavily distorted by the opposition. There was no coercion involved in working overtime, and workers would be paid monthly. Not in three years, he said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way for owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. See in Beijing, bring a Who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS. Co-QXL19YPQLPIC Twitter Com Sokolov End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based the lead and display manufacturer offered 
subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, alleged misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2000 and May on 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei. And that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Hu Awei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Hu Awei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016. Believing that it used the Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions, Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences. Unless Canada releases the executive, since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China if I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary. He told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition. Process are used for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christie Freeland said the United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al Shabab during six air strikes in Somalia. Four air strikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28. It said in a statement. This were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at List of 400 people have been killed in air strikes since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined. The latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti. From where it launches attacks on the militants, Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since eighteen special forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest air strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al Shabaab from taking advantage of safe havens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somali. The United States Africa Command said, "Al Shabaab, which is linked 
Trip Al Qaeda has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia-based security think tank the Higher Al Institute said in a report published in November that Al Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in air strikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. Its taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said Al Shabaab remained a threat despite suffering setbacks. The group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high-profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms.